Let's welcome back to Power Systems to Online Class. It is Power Transmission System Design. Uh, today, let us we discuss uh, capac calculation of capacitance for three phase run. As yesterday, that is in previous class. So we stop at calculation of capacitance for transmission line. That is single phase transmission line. And uh, today we dis we derive the expression for. Uh, calculation of capacitance for uh, three phase line. Now, what is the difference between calculation of capacitance for single phase and a three phase line? Is in the case of three phase single phase line, we calculated the capacitance for uh, conductor to conductor uh, between conductor and cap conductor. But whereas in the case of three phase line, so we used to calculate the capacitance for a conductor for the conductor. It is not between the conductor and the conductor and here also we have the two cases that is one is symmetrical spacing and another one is unsymmetrical spacing symmetrical spacing and unsymmetrical spacing <coughs> so first let us we see the symmetrical spacing so symmetrical spacing in the sense this what we see symmetrical spacing in the sense the three conductors are spaced symmetrically that means the th three conductors are placed at the corners of uh, equilateral triangle equilateral triangle so that is let me assume this is conductor a and here it is conductor b and this is conductor c like this so here uh, symmetrical spacing in the sense the distance between conductor AB is D and the distance between conductor BC is D and the distance between conductor CA is D like this. Conductor CA is D like this. So hence so here we assume that three charges are there three charges QA, QB, QC. That is QA, QB, QC. QA, QB, QC. And the QA, QB, QC are located at uh, A line, QA, B line, QB, and C line, QC. <coughs> and here we assume these two, these three are per meter is 3 or per meter on the three lines <coughs> and overall potential difference between conductor A and infinite neutral plane is so first let me find the capacitance of the A line and if once if we find the capacitance of A line then automatically we know the capacitance of B as well as capacitance of C also so first let me find the capacitance of A that means first we need to find the voltage electric potential at point A or of line A or of line A that is VA is equal to yes what is in expression so first you need to take self self potential of A line self potential of A line in the sense integral R to infinity integral r to infinity that is q a by 2 pi epsilon naught into x dx q a by 2 pi epsilon naught x dx so this is electric potential due to the charge q a on its own conductor now electric potential due to charge QB on A conductor that is mutual you need to take mutual plus QB that is integral hmm. the distance is here it is a D to infinity D to infinity QB by 2 pi epsilon naught x into dx. Yeah, similarly, the potential due to QC, 
एट ये कंडक्टर प्लस इंटीग्रल आर टू इनफिनिटी क्यू सी बै टू पै एसला नाट एक्स डी एक्स टू पै एसला नाट एक्स डी एक्स एंड दिस इज लाइक दिस सो नाउ लेट एस वी कामन क्यू बी लेट एस वी टेक क्यू बी एंड क्यू सो कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म्स कामन एंड इफ ऐ टेक कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म्स कामन देन इट विल बी राइट एज वी एज ईक्वल टू दट इज वन बै टू पै एसला नाट इज कॉन्स्टेंट वन बै टू पै एसला नाट इज कॉन्स्टेंट and first term is qa into integral r to infinity dx by x dx by x and plus similarly qb integral d to infinity dx by x and similarly plus q c integral d to infinity dx by x dx by x yes. is it okay yes then <coughs> yeah then Yes. Then here we can see that uh, integral d to infinity dx by x integral d to infinity dx by x is there. So therefore, what we can uh, here we can take the common of integral d to infinity dx by x. Then you may have v a is equal to s v a is equal to one by two pi epsilon naught one by two pi epsilon naught integral q a integral r to infinity dx by x plus q a q sorry q b plus q c into integral d to infinity dx by x integral d to infinity dx by x so again here we assume uh, the balanced conditions if you take the balanced conditions q a plus q b plus q c is equal to 0 q a plus q b plus q c is equal to 0 so q a plus q b plus q c is equal to 0 in the sense q b plus q c is equal to minus q a that is here we assume balanced conditions q a plus q b plus q c is equal to 0 then q b plus q c is equal to minus q a okay let me substitute so this equation in the previous so then we have the expression for v a as v a is equal to <clears throat> one by two pi epsilon q a. Uh, if we uh, so okay, let it be as it is. Integral r to infinity dx by x minus because why I written minus. Q B plus Q C is equal to minus Q A. Q A <coughs> integral d to infinity d x by x. Yes, now we do the integration. Yes, if we do the integration, what we get? Yes, that is V A is equal to. One by two pi epsilon naught 
QA into ln x. The limits of x is r to infinity. Yes, next minus QA into ln x. The limits of x is d to infinity. d to infinity. Now let us be substitute the limits. That is V A is equal to <coughs> Q A by two pi epsilon naught two pi epsilon naught ln infinity minus ln R first term minus ln infinity plus ln D ln infinity ln infinity get cancelled so then we have ln D minus ln R ln A minus ln B is ln A by B so therefore we can return this as <coughs> VA is equal to Q A by 2 pi epsilon naught into ln d by r ln d by r this is electric potential at a so then what is c a c a is q a by v a q a by v a and if you substitute this q a by q a by 2 pi epsilon naught into ln d by r so here q a q a get cancelled therefore what is c a <coughs> capacitance of a line is given by c a is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught divided by ln d by r farads per meter farads per meter so this is the capacitance of yale so you should be note that this equation is identical to capacitance to neutral for two wire line and derived in a <coughs> similar manner the expression for capacitance are same for conductor b and conductor c also so this can be Consider as C B this is equal to C C also. That is for single phase it's three phase line. Yeah, dark shade. Yes. So now if suppose the conductors are placed unsymmetrical spacing, the conductor the in between the conductors there is unsymmetrical spacing is there then how we can yes actually <coughs> whenever there is unsymmetrical spacing is there then what we do we do the transposition we do the transposition so here also for unsymmetrical Unsymmetrical spacing. Unsymmetrical spacing. Transposition. So transposition in the sense first A B C. Like this. So first what we do? is A, B, C.
<coughs> so first one is c a b a b c then it is c a b then it is a b sorry d A B C C A B B C so like this the conductors are transposed uh, with regular intervals <coughs> now, so here also let me find the potential at first position <coughs> the potential at second position potential at third position of A potential at first position potential at second position potential at third position of a uh, and here let me assume the distance between bc is d1 the distance between bc is d1 and the distance between ac is d2 and the distance between ab is d3 as we assume in the case of uh, uh, what is that inductance calculation so here also let us we take in the same fashion that in between bc is d1 between ac is d2 between ab is d3 like this then so first let me take uh, potential of a at position 1 potential of a of a potential uh, at a of a position 2 potential of a position c position 3 uh, so here let me take this is v1 this is v2 and here it is v3 so then the net potential of a is uh, 1 by 3 into a v1 plus v2 plus v3 because so we are finding only for potential of a so the the three positions potential is v1 plus v2 plus v, v3 but we need single potential so hence we do 1 by 3 into v1 plus v2 plus v3 <coughs> yes first first po potential of a at position 1 potential of a at position 1 that is v1 is equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught let me take constant <coughs> as common then here it is q a integral yes, directly I am writing the equation uh, because at last final so we assume q a plus q b plus q c is equal to 0 therefore ln infinity term will be vanished so hence what is the remaining thing we will get in the sense q a ln 1 by r ln 1 by r plus q b ln 1 by d3 plus q c ln 1 by d2 this is when conductor A is at position 1 and next similarly when conductor A is at position 2 that is V2 is equal to <coughs> 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught pi epsilon naught Q A into ln 1 by r ln 1 by r plus q b into ln 1 by d1 just go through that first diagram plus 
qc into ln 1 by d3 1 by d3 and similarly what is v3 v3 is potential of a when it is placed in position 3 v3 is equal to So 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught q a into ln 1 by r <coughs> plus q b into ln 1 by d 2 plus q c into ln 1 by d 1 qc into ln 1 by d1 <coughs> okay so now what is the net potential of a va is equal to 1 by 3 into v1 plus v2 plus v3 <coughs> yes, so now you do this one just we have add v a v b uh, v 1 v 2 v 3 and you multiply with 1 by 3 yes then you may get <coughs> yes 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught mm. q a into the same equation again we will get q a into uh, ln 1 by r cube 1 by r cube plus qb plus qc <coughs> ln 1 by d1 d2 d3 learn yes you will get like so here also let us we assume the balanced conditions when we assume the balanced conditions then it is qb plus qc is equal to minus qa qb plus qc is equal to minus qa yes if it is minus qa then <coughs> VA is equal to yes, VA is equal to 1 by 6 pi epsilon naught because 3 into 2 6 pi epsilon naught ln ln yes <coughs> D1 d2 d3 by r cube d1 d2 d3 by r cube now if i uh, and here it is qa is there yes uh, if i send 3 inside then it is va is equal to Q A by two pi epsilon naught ln Q the root D one D two D three <coughs> by R because Q and one by three get cancelled. Power one by three get cancelled. So hence you get ln uh, VA is equal to QA by 2 pi epsilon naught ln cube through to D1 D2 D3 divided by R. So hence what is the net expression for capacitance net expression for capacitance of A line <coughs> sorry that is CA is equal to <coughs> QA by VA
that is q a by s what is v a v a is again q a by 2 pi epsilon naught ln <coughs> ln q of the root d1 d2 d3 pi r d1 d2 d3 by r okay so now again q a q a get cancelled so hence c a is equal to and this is the same expression for b and c also that is c b is equal to c c is equal to c a this is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught by ln <coughs> q of the root d1 d2 d3 by r yes i hope all of you get the same expression is it right all of you got the same expression this is the capacitance of three phase symmetrical and unsymmetrical <coughs> yeah so now let us we do some problem <coughs> let's write on the first one <coughs> a single phase transmission line a single phase transmission line has two parallel conductors has two parallel conductors three meters apart 3 meters apart <coughs> the radius of each conductor being radius of each conductor being 1 centimeter radius of each conductor being 1 centimeter one centimeter being one centimeter then calculate the capacitance of the line per kilometer calculate capacitance of line per kilometer now it is the single phase transmission line what is an expression for capacitance of single phase transmission line let us see is equal to Phi epsilon naught divided by ln d by r. This is for farad per meter. This is for farad per meter. For farad per kilometer, you need to multiply with. We need to multiply with ten q. Yes, already we have all values that is epsilon naught is equal to 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 farad per meter 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 farad per meter so at last final you will get the expression for capacitance is you will get the value for capacitance is c is equal to 0 0.4875 <coughs> into 10 power minus 2 microfarad per kilometer you should check the answer microfarad per kilometer <coughs> let's write in the next next one As if you do not solve, there should leave some space for that. Next, second one. A three phase overhead transmission line. A three phase overhead transmission line has its conductor arranged. Has its conductors arranged at the corners of an equilateral triangle. At the corners of an equilateral triangle of 2 meter side of 2 meter side 
<coughs> calculate the capacitance of each line calculate the capacitance of each line conductor per kilometer given that diameter of each conductor is diameter of each conductor is 1.25 centimeters 1.25 centimeters 1.25 centimeters yes he has given the diameter here so therefore uh, what is the value of r r is equal to 1.25 by 2 that is d by 2 diameter by 2 which is given by 0 0.625 centimeter <coughs> you need to convert to meter that means 0 0.625 into 10 power minus 2 meters <coughs> And what is the spacing? D is equal to 2 meters. And here also use the same formula. That is C is equal to uh, 2 pi epsilon naught divided by ln D by R. That is in the previous problem we have done. So pi epsilon naught. But here... 2 pi epsilon. Why it is? Because in earlier case, we need to take the capacitors for single phase in the sense be, uh, between conductor and conductor. For three phase, only for line you are calculating. And if you substitute that, you will get <coughs> the value of capacitance approximately C is equal to 0 0.0096 microfarad per kilometer 0 0.0096 microfarad per kilometer okay yes next one more problem <clears throat> a three phase 50 h a three phase 50 h 66 kilo volts 66 kilo volts overhead line conductors overhead line conductors are placed are placed in a horizontal plane in a horizontal plane as shown in figure Yes, this is the figure horizontal plane as shown in figure so this let me take one two three three conductors this is 4.5 meters and here it is 2 meters this is 2.5 meters like this d1 d2 d3 values he has given that is 2 meters, 2.5 meters, 4.5 meters. As you take this diagram. <clears throat> yes. The conductor diameter is. Conductor diameter is 1.25 centimeters. 1.25 centimeters. If the length of line is 100 kilometers, if the length of line is 100 kilometers, calculate, calculate, first one, capacitance per phase, capacitance per phase, Second one, charging current per phase. Charging current per phase. Uh, 
assuming complete transposition of the line assuming complete transposition of the line so we know that what is equation for capacitance of the three phase line 2 pi epsilon divided by ln d by r but here you need to take that is the unsymmetrical spacing as it is unsymmetrical spacing d has to be taken as cube to root d1 d2 d3 that is d is equal to cube to root d1 d2 <coughs> d3 as if you do this uh, you may get 2.82 meters d then obviously what is smaller r is equal to uh, yes what is r 1.25 by 2 uh, then you may get 0 0.625 centimeters approximately into 10 power minus 2 meters okay so then what is line to neutral capacitance so line to neutral capacitance in the sense capacitance only for phase capacitance c is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught by ln d by r as yes, where epsilon naught is equal to 8.852 into 10 power minus 12 farad per meter 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 farad per meter <coughs> and if you substitute those value you may get 0 0.0091 microfarad per kilometer microfarad per kilometer and moreover he has given the length of line is 100 kilometers therefore if you multiply with the 100 multiply with the 100 then it is c is equal to 0 0.91 microfarads <coughs> 0 0.91 <coughs> microfarads then what is charging current charging current in the sense ic is equal to this x phase sorry yes we know that v is equal to i into x v is equal to i into x therefore ic is equal to v by xc and here v is phase voltage you need to take as phase voltage already has given what is that v phase is equal to <coughs> 66,000 by root 3 66,000 is line voltage so hence phase voltage in the sense line voltage divided by root 3 yes I think you may get in the circuits 2 subject yes <coughs> 66,000 between line voltage and phase voltage relation is line voltage is equal to root 3 into phase voltage Hence, phase voltage is equal to line voltage divided by <coughs> line voltage divided by root 3. This is phase voltage. And what is Xc? X is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc. 1 by 2 pi F C like this. Fc. I have seen. Let's <clears throat> so now you calculate and find out what is IC. Therefore, IC is equal to approximately what you will get in the sense 10.9 amperes approximately. Just should check the answer. Check the answer. Let's just should try for this problem. Calculate the capacitance of a <coughs> calculate the capacitance of a hundred kilometers long, hundred kilometers long three phase 
फिफ्टी हेच थ्री फेज फिफ्टी हेच ओवर हेड ट्रांसमिशन लाइन ओवर हेड ट्रांसमिशन लाइन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ थ्री कंडक्टर्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ थ्री कंडक्टर्स ईच ऑफ डायमीटर टू सेंटीमीटर्स ईच ऑफ डायमीटर टू सेंटीमीटर्स एंड स्पेस्ड एंड स्पेस्ड स्पेस्ड टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स एट द कॉर्नर्स ऑफ इक्वलेटर ट्राइंगल टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स एट द कॉर्नर्स ऑफ एन इक्वलेटर ट्राइंगल सो वी आर ऑल्सो यूज द सेम फॉर्मुला एंड यू मे गेट द कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स लें अप्रॉक्सीमेटली वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सेवन फाइव माइक्रोफेरेट्स पर फेस because it is symmetrical spacing symmetrical spacing the symmetrical spacing formula you can use this one more problem a three phase 50 h a three phase 50 h <coughs> 132 kilo volts 132 kilo volts overhead transmission line overhead transmission line has conductors placed conductors placed horizontal plane 4 meters apart Four meters apart. <clears throat> Conductor diameter is two centimeters. <clears throat> Conductor diameter is two centimeters. Two centimeters. If the line length is, if the line length is. Hundred kilometers. Hundred kilometers. Then calculate. <coughs> calculate the charging current per phase. Can calculate charging current per phase, assuming complete transposition. <coughs> assuming. Complete transposition. So here he has given the distance between the uh, the two conductors. That is between A B is four and B C is four. Then what is about A C? A C is eight meters. Yes, this is simple common sense. A C is eight meters, and uh, here also you need to uh, substitute these values in the same formulas. That is D is equal to Q the root. D one, D two, D three. Then you will get if you substitute these values in this equation, approximately you will get to five point zero meters. <clears throat> And R is you know, that's what is R. Small R is equal to two by two. This is one centimeters into ten power minus two. You need to do. So then the capacitance equation. C is equal to Two pi epsilon naught by ln d by r. So this you may get. You may get zero point zero zero double eight five double eight five into ten power minus six farad per kilometer. This farad per kilometer. <coughs> And at last, final for hundred kilometers, 
see for 100 kilometers you may get this just we multiply into 100 then you will get 0 0.885 into 10 power minus 6 parrots just you note down these values and after the completing the class you can solve this problem and at last final what is phase voltage phase voltage is line voltage divided by root 3 here line voltage is 132 kilo volts that means 132 into 10 cube divided by root 3 it is approximately 76210 volts 76210 so then what is charging current ic is equal to v phase by xc where xc is 1 by 2 pi f c <coughs> or 1 by omega c where omega is 2 pi f so if you do this one you will get 21.18 amps approximately just you check all this values yes, thank you for listening class let me stop here and uh, uh, with this the capacitance concept is over calculation of capacitance for overhead transmission line is over yes, thank you